Hello, my uh, 2D1 class. I'm here to talk about our next project, and our learning goal comes from our standard, which is up on the board where you guys usually have your standards and your learning goals. And it is um, organize the structural elements of art to achieve artistic goals when producing personal works of art. So that is your standard. It's all these crazy numbers. See, sixth through eighth grade right there and your learning goal. I can create a piece of art that demonstrates my understanding of the different color schemes. Now the reason why it goes with this and the structural elements is because actually color is an element of art and that's why it fits into our standard. Um, when you guys are viewing this, you're going to need to pause the video and go get yourself a little six by six square and a 12 by 12 square. You're also going to need a pencil and possibly a ruler depending on if you want straight lines in your design. We are going to be creating this and this is just an example so yours might look different. Um, here's another example. Um, this person didn't get to finish it yet but I really liked the design so I kept it. So these are some examples. Now if you look at mine, this is mine, um, each box has a different color scheme and if you did your nifty little activity sheet that looked like this, then you sh should know what some of the color schemes are, like tints and shades, uh, complementary colors, warm colors, cool colors, analogous colors. So if you look at mine, I have complementary colors. I have a value scale, which is the tints and shades. I have primary colors and secondary colors. Those are all different color schemes. So when you do paint this, when you get to paint it, um, you need to make sure you have different color schemes in each box. Okay. You can also notice that it's a symmetrical design. A symmetrical design or a line of symmetry means that if you cut it down the middle, it can match up to each other, like a butterfly. Um, in some cases, they're radial designs. Now, this is a radial design because it goes in a circle pattern, okay? So either one is fine. You just have to be able to recognize that um, there is a line of symmetry, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is on your little square, you're gonna create a design. Now, this should not have anything that's recognizable. It should be all symbols, lines, shapes. Okay, so I'm going to lean this down a little bit so you guys can see me draw. I might have to use a darker pencil. <laughs> I'm going to move this over. All right, so I'm just going, now if I wanted a radial design, I would want to stick to a corner and then radiate out. Okay, so that would look something like this. So I would start with a circle and then I could add lines going out. Don't make your design too complicated because you don't want it to be really hard to trace because you will you will see that later. It's important that you go off the page and you will see why when we get to finish it. Okay. I'm going to just do a couple more circles and then maybe have a piece on the end, okay? You could even do something like that, okay? So there's my design. See, it's simple. It's not very difficult. It's not very hard. Now, if you wanted to do a little bit more difficult of a pattern, then you would just have to make sure that you um, are willing to trace all of that, okay? All right, so now... What you're going to do is you're going to have a light box. This is a light box. This is a fancy light box. I apologize because a lot of my light boxes are not working because the charger part right here was stolen. So I don't have a lot of those. And you have your 12 by 12 piece of paper. Now you can fold the piece of paper if you would like. So you have four boxes. Okay. Oops, sorry. So I'm going to fold it so I have four boxes to work with. Let me 
Okay. This just helps to make sure I'm lining it up right. All right. Now you're going to take your design and you're putting it under your paper. Remember the part, the corner that you worked with goes to the middle dot. So I'm going to start with this right here and I'm lining it up. Now if it goes off the page, that is completely fine. And I'm going to trace my design. You have to trace it. I don't want you guys just trying to do it multiple times um, because it has to line up correctly. Sorry, my pencil keeps breaking. That's what happens with the automatic pencils. Okay, so my first tracing was successful. As you can see, it looks the same. Now, here's the part that's a little bit more on the tricky side. Now, I don't want to trace my design like this. Okay, because that's that's not going to show symmetry. Okay. What you're going to do is you have to make sure that you turn your paper so that the corner now lines up to the middle. Now you see my corner does not line up because I didn't line it up right. Okay? I'm going to have to flip it. Okay, do you see that? So so you would think like, oh, I'm just going to take my circle and I'm going to just line up the corners. Do you guys see how this, this actually does not line up correctly right here? And the reason is, is because we actually have to flip it completely over so that the, the, and you can't see it right now, so I'm going to hold this up. See how now it lines up. See how this line lines up with that line and this line lines up with that line? That's what you're going to have to do. And then make sure you put it under your paper. Line it up properly, and then you're going to trace. This is why we have to use the, the light box, because it would be very difficult to see our project through. If anybody has a Samsung charger, um, the light boxes actually fit those, and we can use more of these kind of light boxes. I got, I think I have four of them. But once again, I don't have a lot because of um, things getting taken. Okay, so we're still going to be tracing all of our lines. Okay. This is my first time doing a video, so we will see how it goes. You guys can let me know. Give me some feedback if it's okay, if you liked learning like this. And once again, if you have questions um, about anything that we're doing right now, like don't hesitate to come up and ask me to, to ver like uh, clarify what we're doing. Maybe you didn't understand the video. You didn't really get um, what I was talking about um, or stuff like that. Feel free to also pause this video, rewind it, whatever you got to do. Okay, so once again, what we're going to do, okay, you guys can see I finished. See how we're getting this line of symmetry. This, same, this, same, this over here is the same as this over here, so if I fold it, it would definitely line up. Um, we're also going to do the same thing, so remember what I said. Now, this doesn't line up. Actually, it does line up. This lines up. So what we're going to do is now trace it. Make sure you put it behind. Lining it up. Oops, sorry. I keep turning that off. It's very testy. Okay. All right. So once again, if you guys can see this, turn my board over. And it lines up. It should line up. 
and then we'll have to flip it one more time. The cool thing about this project also is that you don't really know what your design is going to look like until you're finished tracing everything. And it could complete, completely change. Okay, so that's like the cool thing about this. Okay, so let's see, this is kind of how it's starting to look. It's turning out really cool, I like it, okay. And then we have one more square to do. Okay, so we have to line it up. We might have to turn this one upside down, just like we did the other one. And remember, I mean, just test it out. All right, let's see, let's just line up. And this one does not line up, so you have to flip it. See how it doesn't line up right here? This lines up here and that one's down there. So we're gonna actually flip it and upside down. So see the white, it's white paper. It's like upside down, it's on the back. And then you put it under. And then that should, see, that lines up. And then you're going to trace it. Making sure all of the lines line up. <laughs> oh, I always do that. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to stop that video there. You guys understand how you're going to work on the actual drawing part. Okay, so this would be a finished drawing. When you're done with this, when you're done with actually tracing it, you are going to to then trace your lines with Sharpie, so see? So our lines are really thick. And the reason why we do that is so that when we paint, um, it, it doesn't like, you don't have to struggle as hard to like stay in the lines because you see a big black line, you don't go past that. After you paint it, or after you're done tracing it, you're going to paint it. And remember, you are going to use the acrylic paint and you need to come up with your four different color schemes. In each box on the back, I want you to write what color schemes there are. So, for example, let's say you wanted to do complementary colors. You would write complementary colors. Okay. So, see, like that. So, I know that you know that those are complementary colors, like when you get a chance to do that. Okay. So, for example, like here, you would write tints and shades. Okay, okay, tints and shades, tints and shades, okay? All right, hopefully this video um, helped you out. And once again, if you have questions, please don't hesitate. This is not, um, the video is not just taking over my teaching. It's to enhance the teaching so that you can slow it down and you can rewind me and play me, okay? So if you didn't have questions, please come up and ask, okay? Thank you.